So you want a minimap in Minecraft 1.18. Well, guess what? This video is perfect for you. We're going to show you how to download, install, and play Minecraft 1.18 with a minimap, specifically Xero's minimap, which is an incredible 1.18 minimap mod, which you're seeing on your screen right now. It's just up in the corner, and it is showing you all sorts of stuff. It can even show you things like mobs and players on screen and all that stuff and where they're all located. Overall, Xero's minimap is one of the best minimap mods out there. So let's go ahead and get it. First things first, we want to go here, and this is where we're going to be able to download Xero's minimap, right? This is a link, the second link in the description down below. Download Xero's minimap, and when you're here, it's actually our text tutorial for getting this mod. That's great if we go too fast or something like that. You want to go kind of at your own pace. I get that, and that's why we do have these text tutorials. But once you're here, you want to go ahead and click on this yellow Download Xero's minimap button. That will take you to Xero's Minimap's download page where you want to download this minimap. To do that, come over here on the right hand side, scroll down until you find this Minecraft 1.18 section, and then you'll have for Forge 1.18x, right? 1.18x meaning 1.18.1, whatever, it's going to work for any 1.18 version currently, but we want to make sure that it is the Forge version. This is only going to work if it is the Forge version. Nevertheless, click the orange download button next to that version, and while that's downloading, let me tell you about our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Host. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour D DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love it just Apex so much, we also our own server. Play it on breakdowncraft.com on them. So check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft server. Nevertheless, Xero's minimap is now downloaded. On Google Chrome, you'll need to keep it in the bottom left of your screen. You might need to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. As you can see, ours is down here. It's 100% safe to download. It's been downloaded 27 million times, so you got nothing to worry about. Nevertheless, let's move on to getting Forge. Forge is the mod loader that allows Xero's minimap to actually work in game, right? So nevertheless, here's Forge, and once you're here, you want to scroll down. And we have the download Forge link here. Now, one of the things I will say, this is an in-depth guide for Forge on our website. It's the third link down below, by the way. But nevertheless, this is an in-depth guide for Forge on our website. And this is great if you do want to get more in-depth with Forge, you have issues with Forge or something like that. This is where you can get those fixed. But we're going to be going over the basics in this video. Now, let's go ahead and click on the green download Forge button. Be taken to Forge's official download page, where we want to make sure Minecraft 1.18.1 is selected. And if it isn't, you can select it over here on the left-hand side. And then you want to come under Download Latest and click on Installer. When you do that, it's going to take us up to Add Focus. We're stopped. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Put your hands in the air and don't click a single thing on this page. The only thing that you even want to think about clicking on this page is the skip in the top right that appears after about 10 seconds. And that's actually all you want to click on this page. You can think about it and you can click it. Clicking skip in the top right is 100% safe to do. And when you click on skip in the top right and it'll appear after about 10 seconds, you can see down here in the bottom left, Forge 1.18.1 starts downloading. As long as it has Forge in the title, it's safe to keep it. It's safe to save it as long as Forge is in the title there. If it doesn't, just go ahead and discard the file, whatever, and then click that red skip button in the top right and Forge will download. Nevertheless, though, we can now minimize our browser. And here on our desktop, we don't have Forge. We need to get it from our downloads folder. To do that, you want to click on the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen, or in the center of your screen on Windows 11 and then go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Click on that, and then in here, you'll find Forge and Xero's minimap. You can drag this to your desktop just for ease of use. Nevertheless, we're going to be starting off here with Forge. Now, if your icons are different from mine, meaning they don't look like these Java logos, they're Internet Explorer, or literally anything else, I'm going to show you how to fix that. But you got to keep watching because there's three issues that can be fixed with one solution. So the first issue is these icons being different. If that's the case, keep watching. We're going to show you how to fix it. However, if you right-click on Forge, click on Open With, and Java isn't here at all, guess what? We're going to show you how to fix that too, it's the same solution as the icons. And the last thing that this could be is if you do have Java and click OK, and it doesn't open up Forge here. If any of those three problems are occurring for you, guess what? It's going to be Java 17 that fixes it. Java 17 is now required for Minecraft 1.18 mods, servers, anything outside of actually playing Minecraft, you need to download Java 17 for it to work. So you can go here in the description down below. It's an easy, simple guide, three-step guide on getting Java. Once you've got that, go through this and you'll be good to go. However, some of you may still need to run the jar fix. The jar fix is basically a file that takes all the jar files on your computer and links them back to Java. That's going to do things like fixing the, you know, icons and things like that that aren't working as well as going to be fixing the, you know, Forge not opening up even though Java exists should fix all of that. However, I will say one thing. You need Java and then the jar fix. You can't run the jar fix without getting Java 17 first. Nevertheless, though, we can finally minimize our browser and right click on Forge, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. This is going to open up the mod system install for Forge here where we want to click on install client and click OK. So I'm going to download, install and set up Forge. The only reason it might not work at this point is if you haven't played Minecraft 1.18.1 before or if you have Minecraft open, either the launcher or the game. Either of those are open, close them, and then redo this installation process. Just open up Java or Forge again, and then, you know, 
install it again and it should work. However, if you've never played Minecraft 1.18.1 before, you need to go play it, just open it up to the main menu, close out of it, come back, and this will work. Now let's go ahead and click OK after it's successfully installed, and we can go ahead and delete Forge from our desktop. It's time to install Xero's minimap. To do that, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so, and then once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to go ahead and select our Forge installation. To do this, we want to go ahead and click on the little arrow next to the play button and then select Forge here. So as you can see, there's Forge, and most importantly, it does say 1.18.1-Forge under it. If that's the case for you, you're good to go. You can go ahead and click play and click play again. But if you don't have Forge here or if the version is at 1.18.1, what do you need to do? Well, we need to go up here to installations. And first, we want to make sure that modded is checked. As you can see, modded's unchecked. It disappears. Forge isn't there. Check on modded. There it is. You're going to click play and click play again. But if you still don't have Forge or you don't have 1.18.1-Forge under this here, you want to click no installation. Then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that is our Minecraft 1.18 survival and skyblock server. It's absolutely incredible. The best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Over 150 players online every day. Come play with this amazing survival, amazing skyblock. You will love it. Now let's go ahead and click on the version drop down box here. And then we want to select 1.18.1 forge. Now I have multiple ones. I'm going to select the one to closest to the top. And there we go. That's also the highest version number there. So that's the most important part. You want to make sure 1.18.1 forge selected here. Mine's at the top, but you may have to scroll down to find yours. I'm going to then set my Solution. You don't need to do that, but I want you all to be able to see once we get in game. Finally, go ahead and click create in the bottom right, and we have this new playdartbreakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has 1.18.1 forge under it. Hover over this, click the green play button, click play again to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft, and now Minecraft 1.18 is going to open up with Forge. The hard part is over. It's super simple to install Xero's minimap from this point on. And by the way, if this happens where it doesn't look like Minecraft's opening, I promise it is. Modded Minecraft takes much longer than vanilla Minecraft to open, so just keep that in mind for whenever you do open up Minecraft. Minecraft in general. And guess what? When you add mods, it's going to be even slower. So nevertheless, as you can see, it is now opening white screen like this is also perfectly normal. So I will go ahead and do a quick jump cut and I will meet you once we are on the Minecraft main menu. Once you're on the Minecraft main menu here, we then want to go ahead and click on mods. From the mods tab here, we want to click on open mods folder. Once we've done that, we have Xero's minimap to be dragged and dropped into this mods folder. It's that simple to install Forge mods. Simply go from the main menu, click on mods, open the mods folder and drag and drop. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and close out of Minecraft and we can open up the Minecraft launcher again. This time we want to make sure that we're playing with either the Forge profile or the Forge profile we created, in our case, playdartbreakdowncraft.com. What you need to know though, the important part is that it does say 1.18.1-Forge under it. If it does, go ahead and click play, click play again, and now Minecraft will open up with Xero's minimap. I'll see you after a quick jump cut. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can click on mods and there is Xero's minimap. Awesome stuff. Let's go ahead and jump in the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, playdartbreakdowncraft.com and I will show you that this is in fact working as you can see in the top left up here there it is loading in as you run around more chunks load in and guess what more chunks appear also these little dots that are up here on the mini map guess what those are those are all of our NPCs and our spawn absolutely incredible stuff and truly truly amazing Minecraft mini map there it is loading in look at that it looks so good and there are different commands and things like that not commands but controls and things like that, that you can see if you go to controls and then go to keybinds and scroll all the way down to the bottom you can see all the different ones here for example Z and Y will open up both the enlarge mini map. So Z is going to enlarge it. And then Y is going to open up all the different settings here. On top of that, you can also set waypoints, which is actually a really, really cool feature of Xero's mini map. So if you come in here and we see the waypoint key mind, that is going to be B to set a new waypoint and U to open up the waypoint screen. So if we go ahead and do B, we can say that this is spawn, for example, confirm. And then if we go ahead and hit U, it's going to open up the waypoint menu where we can manage them, delete them, all that stuff. You can even add them here as well. So nevertheless, that is how you can install Xero's minimap in Minecraft 1.18.1. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And check out this video on your screen on how to get lucky blocks in Minecraft if you're interested in another amazing Minecraft mod. Nevertheless, again, my name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.